I've been married to this man for 30 years. Catherine Stevenson remembers the day she promised Richard Stevenson she'd love him forever. From uh, Vassalboro, Maine, born and raised. Ask her about him today and she'll still say, I love this man. But that promise of a lifetime together. He is strong, he's big. Is no longer up to them. And truly in our 30 years of marriage, my husband has never been sick. Right now, Catherine and their daughter, Lexi, can't hug him, can't hold his hand. It's one of those things where you really think it's not going to happen to you. They can only see him through a screen. This was the year Catherine and Richard were supposed to celebrate a milestone anniversary. This is the year their little girl turned 21 and they could finally say cheers. Instead, this is the year of COVID-19, the virus that has crumbled their rock. My dad is in the process of dying and we are trying to save his life right now. I mean, that is how serious this is and how serious people need to take it. The fact that this virus has taken him down literally uh, is shocking. Shocking because they just don't know how Richard got the virus. We actually had started social distancing and staying in the beginning of March because my mother lives with us who's 95 years old. But they do know there's one thing that's showing promising results. Plasma donated from coronavirus patients who have recovered. The FDA says there's information that suggests it might be able to help some patients thanks to antibodies that can attack the virus. So it's the COVID convalescent plasma therapy clinical trial through the Mayo Clinic that is then administered through the American Red Cross. While Richard has lost his voice, Catherine is renewing her vows, this time promising to get him the plasma his life depends on. Even if you don't have my dad's blood type, please go and donate because you are going to be helping somebody else's father, somebody else's mother, somebody else's loved one, and that you cannot put a price tag on that.